<laughs> oh man, his blood sweat. I remember the day that we actually um, sat down and put that song together. It was so amazing. It was so fun that day. Um, that song was also written by Mikhail McKenzie. Mm -hmm. He's just a songwriter. He's just a songwriter. But <laughs> that song was actually that song is amazing. His blood still works. <laughs> His Blood Still Works, um, I have fun singing His Blood Still Works. Um, Mikkel did an awesome job writing that song. Um, and it's also just a reminder that, you know, what he did for us how many years ago back at Calvary, you know, it still remains the same till this day. Many times you forget, but you can always call upon the name of Jesus and he will be there for you. So it's also a reminder song and it just puts things into perspective that His Blood Still Works, it never changes. You can always call upon the name of Jesus. So it's honestly, it's an amazing song and just, I guess having that understanding and that reassurance that his blood still works is really, it's good and it's powerful because there's often times where we feel like we can't do anything, but, we, but when you think about the song and that his blood still works, you understand that it's not through our strength, it's not through our power, but it's only through his blood, through his strength and through his love and through him that all things are possible and that all things are done. There's no, reason There's no reason not to give you praise. Give you Your praise. blood, you save me. I, I really love that song sonically. It's like a really, really, uh, it's an anthem. It's a, it's an amping song. You know, I always get up for that song because of the message. I feel like this song uh, captures the gospel message. You know, I was talking about how 2,000 years ago, you know, Jesus Christ died for our sins and died for us. And to this day, it still works. And to this day, it still saves souls. To this day, is still changing lives and causing hearts to melt from stone into a heart of flesh. And, you know, it's a message that everybody needs to know because especially for those who, who, who are in the church and have been in the church and have heard it before. Um, it's always just a blast. <laughs> it's always just like, oh my gosh, his blood still works. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's always fun. The music, you know, the vocals, the dancing, um, it sounds always fun. Plus, his blood still works, like, you know? Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. It goes to the highest mountain. Um, I love that song too. I mean, his blood still works. That's the foundation of the church, you know. <laughs> like God paid the, the price for our sins. He was the atonement of our sins and his blood still works. When men fail, when, you know, our, we don't have the answers, his blood still works. You know, it is the answer to every problem and I love that song. Had, um, Michael Manhurts actually coming on the end of that song and also Marissa, Marissa Nicole. Um, they came out at the end of that song and they just, to one other level, so um, I had to, I had to give a song to my girl Marissa. She's she's amazing and so powerful. So um, and Michael as well. Let's not even talk about Michael. Michael's just crazy. So, but it was it was fun having them on that track as well. From the first time I heard that song, I was just like, yeah, this song is like one of my favorite songs because of, I I like the way it was written. Mikel did an excellent job on that song, writing that song, he really right. Um, I just feel like like the message stick, sticks for itself. His blood still works. Jesus died for our sins, and His blood still prevails. His blood is prevailing power. So 
whatever you're struggling with, his blood has power. His blood has power to redeem you from that. There's redeeming power in the blood of Jesus Christ. So, yeah. And then leading that song now is just a constant reminder that every time I lead that song, I have to portray that message that to let everybody know that there's still power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We're not defeated because through him, we are victorious. And for me, I, it's a, it helps me get through certain things that I may go through. What's to say? His blood still works. He died, endured excruciating pain so that we can be free from everything. There's no excuse. God already paid the price. Like, there's no excuse. His blood still works. Basically, the song is powerful because there's power in the blood. So don't make me go in right now because that song is amazing. <laughs> And it's amazing to have my pastor, Pastor Richard Brown, my mentor. He's amazing, and it was awesome having him there and having him on the album. Um, he's known worldwide, so it's amazing that he would, you know, care to be on our little album. So yeah, he we didn't plan that at all. <laughs> there was a plan, and um, he actually gave me the dirtiest look when I <laughs> when I called him up, and he was just like, "Oh, my throat hurts," but as you can hear, he like killed in that song. <laughs> right, he sang so high. If it was video, we could probably see it, but he actually like, when I handed him the mic, he pinched me so hard at a live recording and walked off smiling. <laughs>